So the Turkish government just announced that nobody is allowed to leave the house for the next 48 hours starting this midnight. This is real. Istanbul probably never looked like this before and it's the emptiness that takes it all away. Turkey is at a point where the country has the fastest rising number of COVID-19 infections in the world. Istiklal Street, where usually a million people pass through every single day, is empty. There's nobody around Galata Tower, Kadikar is empty. The streets of Beşiktaş, empty. The mosques are closed for communal prayer, almost all shops stop their business Flights, border crossings and travels between cities are suspended. Schools closed. People are ordered to work from home, to stay at home. All citizens have to wear a face mask when shopping or visiting crowded places. There are disinfections, signs that remind of the social distance and the police make sure that there are no crowds outside. This is a time we can only pass if we all stick together. Well, together but separately. The world seems to stand still, but life goes on, just in a different way than we are used to. Being in quarantine, I realized that my life as a freelancer didn't really change that much. I'm still the same lazy f like before, just now it's kind of more legit. Well, a few things changed though. I'm not going to cut face anymore and I started to drink tea. And instead of ordering tons of food online, I started cooking these shitty noodles almost every day. And after Franco made fun of me because I don't know how to cook spaghetti because he's an I mean, Italian. He put the ketchup on top of it. <laughs> I realized something, that he was right. Mamma mia! And yeah, most of the time I sleep or take a rest or I nap. And if I feel really good, I do a workout, a 10 minute workout. And I make sure that nobody can see me doing this. And then there are those people that make you feel shitty because you have to be more productive during these days. And guess what? I'm one of them. And I'm so grateful that Skillshare likes my videos and pushes me to be more productive during this time. And I also know that so many people lost their jobs during this time, so I'm even more grateful that Skillshare sponsors this video. Thanks Skillshare. So while we all sit at home, our life basically shifted from a good balance of online and offline life to like 90% online life. But anyways, the internet was already my favorite place before. But now it's even easier to be more productive, creative and to learn a new skill. So I created a list with things that I wanted to learn during my quarantine. Quarantine? And I wrote down things like how to make an animated video, how to do a handstand, create visual effects with a green screen, how to code websites, improve my communication skills, learn how to cook, how to market my videos, how to mix cocktails, and I also want to improve my Turkish. And if you believe it or not, but I'm learning all of these skills in only one place called Skillshare. So I quickly want to show you a few courses that I'm taking right now. So I go to my classes and here I have a list called Quarantine. I know, very creative. And one of these skills is, for example, how to make 
a cocktail. Hi, my name is Ivy Mix. I'm the co-owner and head bartender here at Leyenda in Brooklyn, New York. I proudly present you the Quarantini. And during quarantine, they give you two months of their premium membership for free. You can find the link here or in the description box. So instead of scrolling through Instagram or Facebook the whole day and watching all these TikTok videos, I think we should use our time doing something that really gives us some value here in the quarantine. Please, please try it out. Thank you. Finally made it to the capital of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Our first visit was to Saudi Arabia's biggest city, Riyadh, which is located in the middle of the country.